second speaker, who I also met previously today, is Emily Kramer going up. She is the co-founder of Emily's Entourage, a 501c3 that has raised over $515,000 in two years. Emily recently earned a master's degree in bioethics from the University of Pennsylvania. She works as a project manager in the Penn Center for Innovation Social Media Lab. She is a patient advocate, and she is a nationwide speaker giving talks at Stanford University and the University of Pennsylvania this past year. Please join me in welcoming Emily. Unwilling to stand by passively as I got sicker and sicker, we realized there was something 
we could do to accelerate research and grasp onto hope that something was fundraising. And so armed with passion and commitment, we set off on a mission to help find a cure for CF, and nothing was going to stop us. Just one month later, the whole CF community got a huge boost when the FDA approved a breakthrough drug called Kaleidico, the first ever treatment to address the root cause of CF rather than just its symptoms. Named the 2012 Orange Drug of the Year, Kaleidico has proven to be an absolute game changer with promises of extending lives by decades. For people on this new drug, they take two little blue pills each day that essentially fix the underlying defect in CF. Those two little pills let them climb a flight of stairs without becoming breathless, let them resume their job, even tackle marathons, and begin planning for a future they never thought they'd have. Those two little pills are literally lifesavers. Sounds amazing, right? And it is, but there's one big catch. Kaleidico only helps 4% of the CF population with one particular genetic mutation. Unfortunately, I'm not one of the lucky 4%. I'm happy to say, though, that the good news doesn't end there. The development of Kaleidico has paved the way for more promising treatments Researchers are currently vigorously working on similar therapies for the most common CF mutation, which affects nearly 90% of the CF population, with extremely promising drugs in late-stage trials. What that means is that in the very near future, there's good reason to believe that nearly 94% of the CF population will have a life-extending drug like Kaleidico. And yet, even that won't help me. With two copies of the much less common Ashkenazi mutation of CF, I belong to the 6% who won't benefit from any of these breakthroughs. My mutation is called the Ashkenazi mutation because of its high prevalence among Ashkenazi Jews, with approximately 1 in 25 Ashkenazi Jews being a symptomless, often unknowing carrier. As a matter of fact, what a lot of people don't know is that CF, along with tay sachs is the most common fatal genetic disease among Ashkenazi Jews. And because we represent such a small segment within the larger CF population, it's a mutation that is, to put it bluntly, being left behind by the exciting research underway. Those of us with the Ashkenazi mutation belong to the 6% of people with CF for whom there are currently no promising treatments in development. The unlucky 6%, so to speak. But just like I refuse to waste my energy trying to squint and squeeze into ill-fitting jeans, I'm not willing to helplessly watch from afar, longingly, as everyone else with CF gets their lifesaver. Fortunately, neither is my amazing entourage. We are deeply committed to doing everything in our power to bring hope to the remaining 6% as fast as we can. That's why this past year, a lab of hen used my blood cultures to create cell lines with my mutation to distribute to labs worldwide in hopes of spurring drug research and trials for people with the Ashkenazi mutation and other outlying mutations. And that's why we're throwing everything we can into tirelessly raising as much money and awareness as possible to expedite the research that holds the only hope of saving my life and the lives of my CF compatriots who won't be helped by the research currently in the pipeline. It turns out our efforts are paying off in dividends. In two short years, we've raised over $600,000. It's absolutely remarkable, but you see, we don't have time to pat ourselves on the backs. Despite my best efforts to slow the progression of my disease, CF is relentless and it's cruel. Currently, I'm teetering on the verge of end-stage CF, where the only treatment option is lung transplant. And even that brings a whole new set of complications and short survival rates. I am working as hard as I can, throwing everything I have into this fight for me and everyone like me. But I can't do it alone. If there's one thing the Jewish community knows, it's that we may be small, but we are mighty. And so I ask you, I implore you, members of the Jewish community, to recognize that CF is our disease. The Ashkenazi mutation, our mutation, is being left behind, and it's up to us 
to band together, to advocate for our people, and fund the research that will lead to our game changer. So I, and everyone living and breathing with CF like me, can conquer those stairs once and for all. Because the hard stuff should happen in the office, not in trying to get there. And because everyone deserves a future where dreams are within 